All right, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I'm so excited to share with you guys my foundation tips and tricks. I didn't even know what to say for a second. Um, but these are what I've been doing lately, and my foundation has been looking so natural, not cakey at all, and very skin-like. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys and let you guys know what I've been doing. So if you want to stick around and see what it is, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I do, you guys, is I prep my skin with skincare, and I use these two right here. I cannot start my foundation without these two, and this is a hyaluronic serum from Advanced Clinicals. You guys, right now, I already talked about this one right here, and I also use a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. These two are bomb for skin prep. That's why my skin looks really shiny right now and healthy. I do know I have a few breakouts on my face, you guys, so bear with me. Um, that's the first key step when it comes to your foundation. All right, so moving on to primers, I always have to use the Professional and the Canon Austin Primer. These two are absolutely perfect. On the pore professional, you guys, I just love how it fills in my pores and everything looks really smooth with this. So I always use this first. And then after that, I go ahead and use my Canon Austin primer in my T-zone because it's really good at controlling my oils. So I can always count on this one. Alright, so once my skin is prepped and ready to go, I go ahead and use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange. This is just really good for covering up my dark circles and dark marks on my face. Okay, so moving on to foundations, you guys. I do mix two just because I haven't found my perfect match yet. And I do mix the Maybelline Warm Coconut Foundation. You guys have seen this so many times. And then I also mix the Anastasia Stick Foundation in Espresso. Um, these two together are just absolutely perfect. What I do is I go ahead and start with the stick foundation first. And then I move on to the Maybelline Foundation. As I'm blending my foundation, it's just sinking into my skin and looking very natural. Um, I know a lot of people struggle with that, but just because of all the skin prep we did, everything just looks really good once you blend it out. Alright, so we have the foundation down. Everything is looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is apply my concealer, bake my face, and I'll be right back to tell you guys the next tip I have for you guys. Alright, so once I'm done removing the powder, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Mocha. Alright, so once I'm done removing all my powders, I go ahead and do this very next important step. I feel like out of everything, you guys, this one is really, really important because it helps your powders sink into your skin. Everything looks really natural and not so cakey. And what I do is I use my Urban Decay All Night and Makeup Setting Spray. And once I spray this on my face, you guys, it gets rid of all the powder on my skin. So when I go ahead and put my bronzer, blush, and highlighter, everything just applies really smoothly. Okay, so looking at my skin, you guys, I will say it does look a whole lot better than it did before. So what I'm going to do now is apply my bronzer, blush, and highlighter, and I'll be right back to show you guys the very last step. Okay, so the very last step is this one right here. I'm not saying that you need the setting spray, you guys, but technically you do need it because it's that good. This is a Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 um, setting spray. You can promise the setting spray, you can set your face, you can do whatever you want with it. But this is so good because you know when you do your foundation and you apply all your powders and everything like that, it doesn't look like your skin. This, once you spritz it on your face, you guys, it gives you that skin-like look. I don't even know how to put it in words, but it just does everything in one, and I'm really obsessed with this. I've been waiting to talk about this, and I think this video is perfect, but this one right here, you guys, this is so good. Um, but make sure when you spray it on your face that you're really careful because this will spritz you. Um, the spray is not really that fine, so it would, like, splash you in the face, but I literally just do one spray each side, and then that's it. 
So yeah, this bomb. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know down below if you go ahead and try it out because i really want to see if it works for everyone out there um but i think that's about it i love you guys so much don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video